from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Monday, December the 9th, 2019. Blue and White Party leader Benny Gantz today repeated a deal offer to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, saying, if you give up on immunity, we're partners to start talking. Israel's Channel 12 reported that Likud rejected the offer, saying that immunity for the bribery, fraud, and breach of trust charges against the Prime Minister is a legislative right. Yair Lapid, meanwhile, who is the number two spot in blue and white, said that if new elections are in fact held in Israel, he would give up the rotation agreement for premiership that he made with Gantz to give the party a stronger chance of winning. Netanyahu called that announcement a transparent spin and called on Yisrael Beitenu chair Avigdor Lieberman to sit down with him to try and form a strong right-wing government. There are reports that Lieberman appeared to reject that offer. The deadline to form a coalition set by Israel's President Reuven Rivlin is this Wednesday night, December the 11th. Three rockets were fired at Israel from Gaza on Saturday. Two were intercepted by the Iron Dome. No damage or injury was reported. Israel's Air Force retaliated, striking Hamas terror targets in Gaza. Israel police are investigating anti-Arab vandalism. Over 160 vehicles had their tires slashed overnight last night in East Jerusalem. Jerusalem Mayor Moshe Leon called the incident a hate crime, stressing that Jerusalem is a diverse city of all its residents and incidents like this are grave and directly impact the fabric of life in the city. U.S. lawmakers, mostly Democrats, passed a resolution on Friday against Israel annexing the Jordan Valley, something Netanyahu has vowed to do, and for a two-state solution, saying that it is the only outcome that would bring peace to Israelis and Palestinians. The non-binding resolution passed 228 to 188. With four days before general elections in Great Britain, over 3,000 people gathered in Parliament Square yesterday to stand against anti-Semitism. There was no direct mention of the Labour Party or its leader Jeremy Corbyn at the rally, but he has been accused many times of anti-Semitism, and speakers took the opportunity to show their solidarity with Britain's Jewish community. Remarks were made, including from founder of Muslims Against Anti-Semitism, Fiaz Mughal, who declared that Britain is not Britain without Jews. World Jewish Congress President Ronald Lauder is funding a $25 million campaign against political candidates in the U.S who support or normalize anti-Semitism. Lauder told the New York Times that the Anti-Semitism Accountability Project would respond to both Democrats and Republicans who traffic in anti-Semitic language and tropes, as well as against institutions and cultural figures who support anti-Semitism. Well, over 30 employees of West Virginia's Division of Corrections and Rehabilitation were suspended after a photo showed trainees making a Nazi salute. The Washington Post reported that two trainers and a cadet were fired. The Post cited the state's Department of Military Affairs and Public Safety Secretary Jeff Sandy, calling the photo hurtful, disturbing, and completely inappropriate. Veteran Jewish actor Ron Liebman has died. Liebman won a Tony Award in 1993's Angels in America Millennium Approaches and an Emmy for a 1970s crime series he created, Kaz. His extensive work in film includes Norma Ray and Slaughterhouse Five. Liebman passed away from pneumonia on Friday. He was 82. And nominations for the Golden Globe Awards were announced today. Among the Jewish nominees, Sasha Baron Cohen for portraying Israeli spy Ellie Cohen in The Spy, Noah Baumbach for writing Marriage Story, which is also up for Best Picture, and the film's Scarlett Johansson is nominated for Best Actress. Taika Waititi's satire Jojo Rabbit is nominated for Best Musical or Comedy. The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, created by Amy Sherman Palladino, is up for Best TV Comedy Series. Beanie Feldstein was nominated for her work in Booksmart, Ben Platt for The Politician, Paul Rudd for Living With Yourself, The Kaminsky Methods Michael Douglas and Alan Arkin both nominated for Leading and Supporting Actors respectively, and Henry Winkler also in the supporting category for Barry. The Golden Globes air January the 5th.
Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS from Monday, December the 9th at 7 o'clock, it's The Wisdom of Dr. Ruth. At 7.30, Barack Heyman, director of the 2019 documentary Comrade Dove, together with controversial Israeli member of Knesset Dove Kanan, are in the spotlight on Jewish Cinematheque. And then at 8 o'clock, we premiere highlights from the other Israel Film Festival, which explores the deepening divide between the left and the right in Israel, with a panel discussion on what is left with Haman and Kanan, as well as human rights lawyer Liat Semel and Palestinian-Israeli singer, actress, and activist Mira Awad. At 9, Mark Golub sits down with producer of the band's visit, Oren Wolf, and at 10, the new state law in Israel is discussed at the 92nd Street Y. And coming up right after this newscast, it's Good Week, Israel. And that's the JBS News update for Monday, December the 9th, 2019. I'm Tisha Bader.